Okay, good morning, students. Good morning. Sit down, all. So, students, you all are know about the today we are going to start a new chapter for you. The new chapter is what surface area and volume. Surface area and volume. What is surface area? What is area? What is volume? We should know about first. Before going to read about area and volume, we should know about the different type of plane figures. We have plane figures like rectangle, triangle, square, and different type of quadrilaterals. Like what type of quadrilaterals? How many types of quadrilaterals are there? There are different kind of quadrilaterals. What are the quadrilaterals? The quadrilateral is the plane figure having four sides, four angles, four vertices. Then what are the quadrilaterals? Parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus, kite. Trapezium, like that. Clear? But in standard, here we should read about different types of solid figures. Or that means solid figures are three dimensional figure. Plane figures are how many dimensions are there? Two dimensions. Two dimensions means one is length and one is breadth. But here we are reading about solid figure. Surface area and cube, that is, we will read about now solid figure. Solid figure means it is three dimensions, 3D. Three dimension means what? The length, breadth, and height. We have to take care of these three things. Length, breadth, and height. So when we are finding the area, so first of all, we should know about the solid figure. The solid figure is combination of different plane figures. Solid figure is the combination of different plane figures. That's why we are getting another dimension height is here we have to find out clear all of you so first of all we will read about surface area of a cuboid and a cube cuboid and a cube are you know about what is cuboid see if you think about the duster today i am showing you the duster here this duster is a figure of what cuboid why cuboid now because all its base is just like a plane figure what is the plane figure here rectangle, rectangle. Then how many rectangles moves to become the cuboid? Six. As cuboid has the six faces. How many faces? Six faces. Six faces. Already you know about Euler's rules. At that time you have read about six faces. How many vertices? How many vertices? Eight vertices. How many edges? Twelve edges. So a cuboid has six faces. 8 vertices and 12 edges. Clear? So all the 6 faces are the rectangular faces. Are the rectangular faces. If see, if I just made a line with the base of the figure, it just look like a rectangle. It just look like a rectangle. Clear? That means it is a rectangular face. All the faces are rectangular face. No, no. Rectangular face means you are getting what? The length and breadth, what do you get? Length and breadth. Achha, if they will go for the length and breadth, what is the area of rectangle? Anybody else? Area of rectangle? So, Lakshmi. Area of rectangle? No, area of rectangle? Length into breadth. Area of rectangle, I am not talking about area of triangle. Half into base into height is the area of triangle. Sit down. Area of base is length into breadth. So, if we are getting six faces, then six area will be there. Got it clear? Length into breadth, length into breadth, length into breadth, length into breadth, but all are not length into breadth. Somehow it is breadth into height. You see that I am just doing the figure of a cuboid. You can get the idea of the figure of the cuboid now by getting six faces of rectangle. See, let take one rectangle here, take another rectangle of the same face, join the vertices corners you are getting the cuboid now what you are getting the six faces see one face this is length clear this is breadth this is height clear so one faces is what length into breadth lb here this one is what bh height into breadth for this rectangle base is breadth height is length so breadth and height here is length here is breadth 
so this is also will be clear length into breadth like that b into h h into l got it clear so we are getting what all the if you we'll add all the faces area of the all faces what will get now lb plus lb plus bh plus bh plus hl plus hl clear lb into l plus lb plus bh plus bh plus hl plus hl that word what will get na 2 lb plus 2 bh plus 2 hl that mean 2 length into breadth 2 breadth into height 2 height into length clear 2 length into breadth 2 breadth into height and 2 height into length bring chalk okay so what will get now so we will get If you take two, take common length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. Clear? So surface area of a cuboid. So what do you write now? Surface area of a cuboid is equal to two into L B plus B H. Plus H L L B H. I am just writing the to remind this one properly. But remember this one will be L B H L B B H H L. Clear? L B B H H L. If you will go anti-clockwise sub sequence. L B B H H L. So that surface area of a cube is what? Two into length plus breadth. Two into L B plus two into B H plus two into H L. Clear? That means surface area of a cube. You can go for what? Two hole into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. Square units. Area is what of unit? Square units or not? Because meter into meter, meter square. Standard unit of length is meter, so that meter into meter, meter square, centimeter square, kilometer square, whatever things you can take of this by using the units, so you can say square unit. Clear? So this is the surface area of a cube. Surface area of a cube. Again, here I am also clearing about the volume part also of this cube. Boy, in volume part of cube, but what you know, volume is what? Volume is equal to area into height. Volume is equal to what? Area into height. See how you know that when you are going to the market, you are purchasing one packet of biscuits. You are purchasing one packet of biscuits. So biscuits are arranged in such a way that. a uh, one biscuit after one biscuit after one biscuit like that so when you are just thinking about the biscuit part so one by one it is there clear all these biscuits are arranged in such a manner that one after another is there so that means area of the biscuit is what length into breadth but number of biscuits sequentially the breadth the height so that it is area into height so volume is equal to what volume of cuboid is equal to area into what height So what is the area? That means base area. What is the area here? We are taking the base area. Base area means length into breadth. Base area means what? Length into breadth. So if base length into breadth we are getting, then volume of the cube body what will get? Length into breadth into height into height. So that we can generally say cube. Volume of a cuboid, volume of a cuboid is equal to L B H cubic unit. L B H cubic unit. That means meter cube or centimeter cube. Area is square unit. Then when another length is multiplying here, so meter into meter, into meter, meter cube, meter square into meter, meter cube like that. Clear? That means what you get now? What is the surface area of a cuboid? What is surface area of a cuboid? Surface area of cuboid is equal to two into L B plus B H plus H L means two into two hole into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. And surface area uh, volume of the cuboid is base area into height. That means length into breadth into height. L B H. Simple in the small abbreviation form again say L B H. Cubic unit. Got it clear, all of you? So same way, if we we'll go for the cube, so you you know that 
there is a very smaller difference between a cuboid and a cuboid. Okay, same. Number of faces same, number of vertices same, number of edges also same. But only difference of what? The base surface is what? It is the square surface. What is the spaces? Square surface. It is not the rectangular face. All the faces of a cube is a square faces. I am going to see you. See this chalk box. It is just look like a cube you see. Because every faces are the square face. Got it clear? How many faces are there? Six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Side into side. Area of each word. Side into side. Again, height is the same side. So, A unit, A unit, A unit. Three units. If <coughs> length is breadth, length equal to breadth equal to height, let all the sides of a cube is A unit. A unit. So, what I get? A into A into A. Clear? So, now we can find out surface area of a cube and volume of a cube. Have you written all these things? Okay, fine. Now, we can find out Okay, so we can go for now the surface area of a cube. Go for a cube, all faces are square faces, all faces are square faces. Some six faces are there, sorry. Okay, all are A units. Everywhere we are getting the a units. Clear? <coughs> so, what I get now? I am getting now six faces. Achha, what is the area of one face? Side into side. That means A into A, A square. A into A, A square. How many faces? Six faces. Then six A square. Got it clear? That means surface area of a cube is equal to what? A square into 6. That is equal to 6 A square unit. Or square unit. 6 A square square unit. Clear all of you? Surface area of a cube is what? 6 A square square unit. Clear? So by getting 6 A square unit, now what we will get? Again we have to find the volume of the cube. Volume of the cube is what? Base area into height, but all are here same length, length of the side, each side is six A unit, so that if you will go for area into height, area is A square, height into A, so area A square into A is equal to how much? A cube, that means volume of a cube, volume of a cube is what we are getting? A into A into A. So that A cube unit. A cubic unit. Clear? A cubic unit. Got it clear now? But here we are getting what? This is total surface area. TSA of a cube. TSA of a cube. And cuboid, what I find out that is TS of a cuboid. But another part is there. What is the lateral surface area? That we have to point out now. That what is the lateral surface area? You see, when we are thinking about lateral surface area, we are not thinking about the base area and top area. Clear? Just see, we are in a room which is a cuboidal structure. Because it has six faces. See, this is the roof, ground, rooftop, ground and roof. These four walls. First wall, second wall, third wall, four wall. We are getting four walls like this, first, second, third, four lateral sides, not including the bottom part, not including the top parts. If you are excluding the top and bottom part, we are saying about the four walls, area of lateral surface area or we are saying four walls. Why walls? Too easy to understand. One wall, two second wall, third wall, four wall. So adding area of the four walls, we are getting the lateral surface area of a cuboid or we can say area of the four walls just to remember ourselves 
Lateral surface means we will think about the lateral sides, not about the top and bottom part of the figure. Got it clear? Then what LSA? <coughs> now we can say LSA of a cuboid. See, when you are thinking about LSA of a cuboid, I have done this figure, I have erased already, so go for another. Clear? <coughs> when we are getting lateral surface area, what we are getting? We are not thinking about this top and bottom. That means here we can, a length into breadth will not take. Both length into breadth will not will consider, will consider what? Breadth into height, breadth into height, 2 pH, height into length, height into length, 2 HL. So that we are writing what? <coughs> height into length plus height into length plus height into breadth plus height into breadth. Area of four walls or area of lateral surface area or we simple say LSA. LSA. So, H take common, here is 2HL plus 2HB, if we will take 2H as common, L plus B. So, TSA of a cuboid, TSA of a cuboid is equal to what? 2 into height whole into length plus breadth square units. 2 into height whole into length plus breadth square units. Clear all of you? Got it clear or not? That is for the? What? Cuboid. But if you take LS of a cube, LS of a cube, Achha. same things, but in a cube, all the faces have same areas as all the sides are equal, as all the sides are equal. We are taking not the rooftop and not the bottom, so we are taking four walls, a square, a square, a square, a square. So what simple, we can say four a square. Got it clear? So LS of a cube is equal to? 4a square. What it is? LS of a cube is equal to 4a square square unit. Write down all these formulas in your copies. Quick. Okay students. <coughs> we have read about now surface area of a cuboid, surface area of a cube, total surface area, lateral surface area and volume of a cube and cuboid. Huh. One thing you have to mind it from your mind. You should think about the unit what is given. So, if length is given in meter, you should convert all the sides, maybe the same unit. If different units and you have to multiply and add, then you can lose your marks. Got it clear? You have to convert all the units the same unit. Okay, fine. Sir, do we have diagonals in this shape? Do we have diagonals in this shape? No, you just need, don't need of this one now. In surface area, you don't need about that. But we can go further, when you can say go for rhombus and all, then at that time we can go for it. Clear all of you? So, now we will erase this one. Okay, now we will go for a formula, a one problem of regarding this question, for this formula. Okay, fine. Just all of you go for a questions regarding this. Here is given it is that Hamid has built a cubital water tank with a lid for his house with each outer edge 1.5 meter long. He gets the outer surface of the tank excluding the base covered with square tiles of side 25 centimeter. Find how much he would spend for the tiles if the cost of the tiles is rupees 360 per dozen. Just listen the question first. Here this question is for you. What I am teaching now it is totally you have read in 9th class because in standard 10 you should read both the things. 9th class what is all taught and again combination of figure we are here we can get it. That's why the previous knowledge I am giving to you. Hamid has built a cubical water tank. Write down. Hamid has built a cubical water tank. Hamid has built a cubical water tank with lead for his house with lead for his house.
with each outer edge 1.5 meter long with each outer edge the outer edge of the tank is 1.5 meter long that means length of the edge is 1.5 meter he gets the outer surface of the tank excluding the base he get the outer tank he get the outer surface of the tank outer surface of the tank excluding excluding the base covered with square tiles excluding the base covered with square tile write down all covered with square tile of side 25 cm then side of the square tile is 25 cm clear find how much he would spend for the tile that means cost factor find how much he would spend for the tile <coughs> if the cost of the tile is rupees 300 per dozen if the cost of the tile is rupees 300 per dozen clear this is the question this is the questions then first of all hamid made a what hamid has built a cubical water tank the tank what he has made it's a cubical water tank clear all this is a cubical water tank and what is given age of the cubical tank is all over written the question i'll erase now yes. age of the water tank first of all given age of the age been side of the water tank is how much 1.5 meter yes or no 1.5 meter that is equal to how 150 cm as you know that you have to go for tile is 25 cm you convert the same unit i have told okay fine then surface area of the tank surface area of the tank what is the surface area of the tank who can say obviously total surface area of the tank surface area of the tank is equal to what 6 square. 6 square but here clearly he has told question is he gets the outer surface tank excluding the base that means one surface he has already excluded then base area he will not exclude, include it then if total is 6 square and he excluded one part then how many remains 6 square minus 6 square a square that means 5 a square got it clear so that surface area of the tank is equal to 5 into 150 square that means 5 into 150 into 150 clear all of you got it clear all of you yes then area of the square tile next we have to find out what he has to made all these things by square tiles he paved it by the square he gets the outer surface as should the base covered with square tiles of side 25 cm then what is the area of the square tile <coughs> if side of the square tile is how much 25 cm then area of the square tile is equal to 25 into 25 am i right because square tile is made by what side is 25 cm if we will find out the side into side so 25 into 25 clear area of the square is 25 25 now area of the water tank 
divided by area of the square tile. You can get the number of square tile or not? Clear? So, so the number of the tiles required, we have to find what? Number of the tiles required is equal to area of the tank divided by area of the tile. Clear? 5 into 150 into 150 divided by 25 into 25. Clear? Because excluding I have written 5 into 150 into 150 divided by 25 into 25. Then cancel each things. If you take 5, 5. Here 5, 3, 30. Again 5, 5, 5, 6. Again 5, 3. 9, 30. So 180 number of tiles are there. How many tiles are there? 180 number of tiles are there. And the cost of one dozen tile is 360. Then cost of 12 tiles is equal to 360. Cost of one tile is equal to 360 by 12. Then cost of 180 tiles is equal to 360 by 12 into 180, am I right? 6 to just 6, 3 just 30, then 15, 380 into 15, 38 into 15, which is equal to 5400 rupees. 18, 3 just 54, so 5400 rupees. Rupees 5400. Finish. First, we have to know what is given and what we have to find out. First of all, he has given that here application. It is a square tank and excluded the base part. That means we are making another five parts. Then five square parts means we have to find out the surface, total surface area. If it is 6A square minus A square, we are getting 5A square. Then area of the square tile, what is made by the tank. Then we divide the area of the tank, divided the area of the tile. We are getting the number of tiles required. And then cost of dozen tile if it is... How much given? Find one. The rate of the tile you find out. Then find the total amount he spent for the tank. Got it clear all of you? So we have to first know about the surface area of the volume. Like cuboid, cube and volume of the tanks. Got it clear all of you? So I think this is the first stage. Then we can go for the next class about area, surface area of the cylinder, cone, sphere, like that. Got it clear? Then we will go for the combination figure. Thank you. Have a nice day all of you. Hope you will do the tomorrow's, this homework and you have to show me. Thank you all.